so that top one might have been, but... Yeah, it's the one to the right. Yeah, it looks too small. Pretty casual lava of Stu and Ram. Just got a little bit of drone footage. Hopefully it looks all right. There was a couple of deer up there. Got a little bit of footage of them, but yeah, nothing that we wanted to worry about shooting. So we're gonna head out tonight, try and get some foxes. Probably won't get any footage of that, but if I remember to hit record, I will. And yeah, in the morning, we'll probably go out again after deer. So we'll just see how we go. quiet morning out here seen a few deer but nothing worth chasing a couple of little stags out in the open and yeah that's been about it so might move on to a different spot and go make a coffee or something warm up and then work out what we're doing for this afternoon stay tuned <laughs>
It's still there. <laughs> what do you reckon about that, Stu? Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> So Rem's just here and I've been howling to this dog while I've been making coffee and that dog was just there. It's probably about eight meters, something like that. Pretty cool, little immature wild dog there. But where we are at the moment, there's no real need to shoot it. We're not near any livestock or anything, so I'm not too phased. Yeah, just drinking the coffee. Had a couple of hows and arced up two wild dogs over on this face and <laughs> yeah, we were just listening to one of them howling and then I just yeah glanced a little bit of movement down below us and seen one come in and then it seen Rem and it just stopped and then Rem gave a couple of little like guard barks at it <laughs> and it actually it did stop a couple more times down there. I don't know whether the camera picked that up but it wasn't too phased by us so pretty cool. Not a bad way to top off the morning. Well, I've been wandering around all morning and yet to see a deer. But it is so bloody nice out here that, yeah, I'm not going to complain. It's just super good weather. Everything's green. Sun's coming out. We've just had all that rain. And yeah, it's just it's nice being out here. But I'm going to go back down to the bottom ridge where the car is. Recheck this face over to my left here, make sure there's no deer that have come out since I've been gone. And yeah, then might go check those trail cameras. So I've moved both trail cameras last weekend, put them onto two different scrapes. Go check them and yeah, see what we've got on there. I'm just checking these cameras now. Looks like there's a couple of deer on them, but I'll have a better look when I get home. Probably throw that together in this video as well. I'm just watching the screen here and I've definitely got a few uh, clips of just wind. But anyway. Found myself a target buck. I want that deer and I want it for the wall. Got a few good clips of him. I'm just going to keep watching and see if I can't work out some sort of pattern. But that's got me keen. Check this out.
And just finally, on the topic of that wild dog that I videoed yesterday morning, I've been getting a lot of questions on Instagram and Facebook from the story that I put up, just a little photo of what happened there. And I've been getting a lot of questions asking whether I'd shot that dog or whether my brother did. The answer is no. Where we were is, is nowhere near farmland. And I believe there's a buffer zone where you're actually not allowed to shoot wild dogs on public land if they're not near private property. I don't know the exact distance on that, but I believe that that is the case. And also the guns were locked up. We were just stopping to have a coffee and I sort of just jokingly said to Stu that I was going to have a howl before I made my coffee. Had a howl and next minute there was about two or three dogs howling nearby and then I sort of jokingly said that one's probably coming in because one of them stopped howling and yeah sure enough we're drinking our coffee and that that orange one came in so it was just sort of the way it panned out but yeah we weren't that phase about shooting it anyway and like I said I believe there's a buffer zone where you're not actually allowed to shoot wild dogs or dingoes if they're a dis certain distance away from private property so that dog there would have never seen a farm in its life I don't believe it was a long way away from any farmland and in all honesty where it was it wasn't hurting anything so that's the reason it didn't get shot so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video highlights still gonna be that wild dog <laughs> how it in and yeah that, that little bit of footage there was pretty cool really happy I got that but yeah other than that I'll probably see you guys next weekend cheers